With Valentine's Day coming up in a few days and spring season coming in a month's time, now is a good time to reassess both our inner well-being and our relationships with other people. It is often said that everything starts from within and when it comes to well-being, there is a strong mind and body connection. Therefore, it's best to start examining ourselves and do inner cleansing first for any residual bad energies and be free from negativity to welcome positive energies in. And hopefully, this video can help guide you on how to cleanse and protect yourself from negative energy based on the five feng shui elements. Energy cleansing should be an ongoing activity and its frequency depends on one's sensitivity. The more sensitive you are, the more likelihood that you haven't established strong boundaries yet. Hence, you may need to actually do energy cleansing daily. But for those who are capable of managing stress better and have already established strong boundaries, or those lucky enough to be in a nurturing environment and simply experienced a one-off intense and stressful situation, then either a monthly or biannual energy cleansing practice is enough. Some of the methods that will be mentioned in this video can be easily done daily though, both as an added protection and as a boost in welcoming positive energy in our lives. Cleansing and Protection Under the Wood Feng Shui Element Plants and trees are part of the wood element and influence the quality of air we breathe. These, together with connecting ourselves with nature regularly, can aid us not only in breathing out bad energy away but in breathing properly. Walk in a Park The act of taking a simple walk for a few minutes, especially in a park, can help clear our minds from other people's influences and at the same time re-energizes us to easily achieve the state of flow once we get back to work or whatever task we're doing previously. Taking a walk not only helps clear writer's block but also gives enough excuse to take a break from our gadgets and be more aware and appreciative of the good things in our surroundings. Gardening Not only is gardening a relaxing hobby, it also gives an opportunity to take slow, deliberate breathing exercise. Make sure to allot a schedule for this on a non-busy day such as the weekend so you have ample time and avoid feeling rushed. Yin Yoga Yin Yoga helps us stay grounded by focusing on aligning our breathing with slow, passive yoga poses or asanas. Yin Yoga not only helps us calm down but also allows us to release any stagnant negative energy such as anxiety that can hold us back in life. Cleansing and Protection Under the Fire Feng Shui Element Using fire is a very powerful yet highly dangerous method of clearing negative energy. Always be careful and never leave burning items unattended. You may consider doing other methods instead if the following fire methods aren't practical or safe to do in your current space. Burn Incense Sticks Aside from a way to create connection with deities or gods or goddesses depending on your beliefs, Burning incense sticks is an effective way to cleanse and renew qi in your environment. Incense sticks have other subtle effects based on their aroma too, as long as you're using the ones with natural ingredients instead of those with only synthetic perfumes. You may use rosemary scent to flush any stagnant energy and help create new beginnings. You may use sage to clear any type of energy, both positive and negative, to have a blank slate in your space. This is best used when you're planning to do another ritual and want to avoid any energy influencing it. You may also use incense with sandalwood scent to clear negative energy only and keep any positive energy flowing around or lavender scent to help you relax or recover from a previous illness. If you want to focus on boosting protection, you may burn incense with cedar scent instead. Light a candle the simple act of lighting a candle, especially when accompanied with a heartfelt prayer, can also do wonders in clearing our minds and subconsciously inviting new blessings in. Different colors of candles have different effects, but a white candle is commonly used not only for cleansing but also for protection, especially from the types of people who drain our energies or what is also known as energy vampires. Lighting a candle can also be used together with visual meditation or other methods or rituals that will be discussed later. Banishing Ritual A banishing ritual may be more effective when you want to get rid of the negative influences from other people. It can also help in erasing bad traumatic memories over time. This is best done during a waning moon. Depending on your beliefs and the impact of either the negative person or event that you are trying to get rid of, you may do an elaborate banishing ritual or a simple one. An example of a banishing ritual is the following. 
write down the name of that toxic person on a piece of paper using a black ink, then cross the name using red ink. Fold the paper and stomp on it three times while imagining all negativity going back to that person and being immune from them starting today. After that, burn that paper on a safe dish outside while imagining burning bridges with that toxic person. Make sure that you don't inhale the smoke and the smoke is going to a different direction away from you and your home. For a much simpler banishing ritual, you may choose to burn any gifts given and any photos with that toxic person or even photos that remind you of the dramatic event on a safe dish or earthenware outside. Imagine all the bad memories burning away along with those items. Make sure that it is allowed in your local laws, though, because there are places with very strict anti-air pollution policies that prohibit any kind of backyard burning. If that's the case, you may choose to replace the burning part with shredding and burying the shreds or throwing them in a trash bin afterwards instead. Cleansing and Protection Under the Earth Feng Shui Element Earth-based cleansing is best done when you're feeling agitated or experiencing general anxiety or imbalance and would like to feel more grounded. However, using any earth-based clearing method isn't advisable when there's a feeling of stagnation for it can even worsen it. Stay home. If the only reason you want to attend an event after school or work is either fear of missing out or not wanting to offend people who invited you and if inside you don't really feel like going and that feeling is more than laziness, it could be you don't really jive the people there or those people bring out the worst in you, it's best to simply stay home. Not only will doing so give you more time to actually do the things that you genuinely enjoy, it actually gives you a sense of power when you're the one actually in control of your time and decisions. Staying home also lets you recharge or rest, especially when you're simply exhausted, which leads us to the next method. Take a nap. Lack of sleep makes us all moody, irritable, and high-strung. Add a mug of coffee or a can of energy drink can even worsen it and even make us feel more agitated than usual. There's no other cure for this than getting enough sleep. And if that isn't possible in a hectic schedule, then at least take power naps in between which only last for 30 minutes at most. Not only taking naps helps boost our productivity by recharging our mental energy, it helps maintain good relations with others by allowing us to see things in a better perspective or at least have enough patience and therefore preventing unnecessary bickering, temper tantrums, and minor rants. Use crystals and gemstones. A good medium-sized crystal such as quartz is not only a good talisman for protection, it can also be used for grounding. Always carry it around and touch it when you're feeling tense or anxious. Different types of crystals have other different benefits, especially when incorporated in charms. For attracting prosperity, you may use citrine crystal or tiger's eye. For better career opportunities, you may use lapis lazuli. For good luck in love and relationships, you may use rose quartz and amethyst. And for good health, green agate is the best. Cleansing and protection under the metal feng shui element. Metal is associated with both wealth and protection. Metal cures are often used to ward off evil influences. Just make sure to avoid any sharp edges or corners made of metal if used as decor or talisman and use in moderation to avoid any imbalances if used in cooking. Sound Using sound helps get rid of any old negative energy that may still be clinging to us. In Chinese traditions, they use drums and gongs to scare evil spirits away. In Christian traditions, they use bells usually accompanied with prayers and incense. In modern times, we can actually use music such as the loud rock or metal genre to serve as catharsis for any bitter emotions we might be holding on to or simply to wake us up and energize our bodies. Using sound can also help us ground ourselves and be calm like the sound of metal wind chimes at the door and also ambient music used during meditation sessions. Visualize white light. The color white is under the element of metal. Along with listening to good calming music, you can also use meditation to visualize white light surrounding and protecting you like a powerful barrier against negative energy. Sometimes you can also imagine mirrors along with the bright light barrier so any strong negative energy targeted at you will simply bounce back to the sender, especially when you're in a particularly toxic environment such as an unsafe crowded street or a drama-loving workplace. 
Though it's best to actually stay away from them, sometimes it isn't immediately possible, so doing a protective visual meditation can be a temporary workaround. But do still actively take steps to transition into actually living in a better and safer environment. Add white onions in your diet. Under the study of feng shui in food, onions, especially the white ones, are part of the metal element. Onions in general make your body more resilient against free radicals because aside from their polyphenols that act as antioxidants, onions also boost your immune system with its sulfurs that act as anti-inflammatory agents. No matter the type of negative energy cleansing rituals you do or protective talismans you use, if your body, especially your immune system, is weak, then nothing will work and all efforts will be in vain. So ensuring a healthy immune system is a must. Cleansing and protection under the water feng shui element. Water is strongly connected to emotions and doing the following may bring instant relief from any negative toxins and feelings. Wash using soap infused with essential oils. The simple act of washing our bodies is therapeutic, especially when we visualize that all negativity is leaving us and being drained away while taking a bath. You may use soap infused with essential oils like sage or lavender, or you may even create a custom blend with your own favorite essential oils. However, do avoid them if you have any allergic reactions to them and also if you're pregnant. Go swimming. Swimming almost has a similar effect as the tip mentioned previously, but with the added effect of exercising your body. There's a theory or perhaps a rumor that swimming in cold water early in the morning has anti-aging effects as what Yu Ye Lin, a 50-year-old beautiful Chinese lady has been doing for the past 20 years, as well as those who are practicing the Wim Hof method. But never try that method without proper training and consulting your doctor first because it's highly dangerous and can even be lethal. Just cry it out. Regardless of your gender, sometimes a good crying session is enough to release all the negative energy and emotions that are holding you down. Use this as an opportunity to acknowledge any negative event that occurred and accept responsibility. Only do this rarely, avoid doing this to dwell in past hurts and indulge in the blame game. Use it as a useful step to gauge who the right people are for you and cut ties who aren't and start doing things that actually make you happy to help heal wounds and move on. So which of these methods worked for you? Let us know down in the comments below. If you like this video, kindly press the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We upload a new video every week so you can check out this channel once a week or so, but if you want to be sure not to miss an upload, you may also click the notification bell icon. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.